Let's hope this is working now. Am I alive? I should be. Let's get back to my channel page. Better turn that volume down, otherwise you're going to hear a echo. Should be fine. Title should be fine. Be fine. There we go. Let's just turn the volume down on Twitch so you don't get the echo. Hello, dear friends. Today we are in... The 146 Professional again. This is all about efficiency. I've been flying the Concorde for the past couple or past few streams. Back in the 146. Now chaps, if you're with me on the stream. It's something I like to do on Twitch because it's... Uh, <laughs> what can I say? It's something that I'm... Yeah, still getting used to. Can you hear me okay? Let me know if... Everything's okay. Well, someone's saying yo, yo, yo there, so I'm assuming... Yep, you can. Brilliant. Okay, I'll say that. So it's all about uh, airliner efficiency. It's practicing at the most, I would say. Don't go and practice and fly every single airliner unless you have uh, all the hours that God sends and you can do that. I don't. So I stick to a couple just to become more efficient in them. Innsbruck? Actually, I think this was one of the only areas, airports, I had added the Flight Simulator X. This is just the default airport, but I believe I've got the Austria uh, World Update, or the World Update that contains Austria installed as well. It's just beautiful. I love Innsbruck. Love to do a flight in Innsbruck. I don't believe it has an ILS, does it? So that should be an interesting flight into Innsbruck. Uh, it's quite a short runway, basically. I'm just going to taxi round, as you can see there behind me. And then we'll do, probably do some kind of rolling start. Russen, if you can hear me, my friend, push back a little bit, because that's, that's exactly where I want to be. I'll go forward. If you, if you can push back for me, that would be great. Talking about pushback, there's no pushback tugs here. Now, the 146 has a bit of a party trick, shall we say, which I'll show you in a moment. First, let's get internal. Um, we'll set the aircraft up. We'll stop that flashing. I'm ready for takeoff already. But let's just... Uh, perfect. That's brilliant. Let me just switch you to... Let's hope I've got this set up. Let's just switch the page before I switch you. Then I don't embarrass myself. To Simbrief. So Simbrief, basically I showed this in Discord. And I showed it as a post in YouTube. Uh, well, I, I showed it in Discord, the course, basically. So I said, if you want to come, you can come and fly along. I'll probably switch on voice later so I can chat to a couple of you. So do be in Discord, and we'll go to com voice ones. In fact, I'll do that now. I'll go into com, uh, group flight comms. I'll just mute myself in there, just because I want to talk about the flight. So yeah, come and join me in there. If you're part of the flight, we can have a chat as we go along. Uh, where were we? We were on... <laughs> the Simbrave page. page. So basically, if I go to edit flight plan, I just typed in a route. Very simple, Simbrave. Uh, use current time. We don't need to change that. From Lowy, Innsbruck to LFPB, Le Bourge Airport. Uh, it's one of the new update, city update airports, and it's a beautiful airport to fly into. Very short runway, so I've got to be slow. If you're in a fast aircraft, beware. We're flying into runway 27. And the suggested routes, I just took the top one. It gives you a SID, which we'll need in Innsbruck, because you'll be flying into mountains otherwise. So the SID is here. And it gives us a star, which we'll probably won't use. Let's just view flight plan. Uh, because basically, from EPL, it's probably better just to fly to uh, Le, Le Bourge Airport from EPL rather than go on this star because it's leading us away from runway 27. EPL is almost a direct route to runway 27. So we'll cut out the star which is uh, this one here in the Simbri file but we will keep the SID which is the first one. So let's set this up in the aircraft. Let me just get into Microsoft Flight Sim. Let me just check that Twitch is going okay. Why is it not giving me the view account? Oh, it's not giving me the view account now. Isn't that great? Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to trust that a few of you are there. What's going on? Ah, it's better. So there's quite a few of you here. That's great. Uh, hello, Susie. Hello, Tokes. 
And Rossen, and I know that you're with us, and Ninja's with us around two somewhere, so this should be interesting. What we'll do, go to our tablet, go to the first tab, which will let us link our sim brief. That's my sim brief number. I'll just press continue. Whatever flight you've generated, which is Lowy from Lowy to LFPB in my case, it will input it into, into the tablet. Now, Susie, if you, you said you might be following along with this, so I'm going to go slowly. Get to your... Let me just think. Control and 5, I believe, are the default keys to get to your uh, flight management computers. Uh, let me know, Susie, if you're following this, because I want to go nice and slow so people... Evening! Nova King, great to see you here. Uh, so, yeah, you basically want to get to your flight management system. And... I mean, I can, sh I can show you this. Just press the index. Hover it over your keys. You'll see the index key. Press that. I've showed this in other flights. But index button first. You'll get to the index menu. And next. So let's just do that again. Index is the top page you'll get to. Oops, let's go previous. <laughs> That's the first page you'll get to. Index page one or two. Just go next to get page to two of two. Go to root menu. Root menu, and if you've got your sim brief installed, and um, installed into the 146, you can just recall the plan. So just recall it for us. Should work on Xbox. I've showed this on Xbox. And there you go. The flight route is in, but the star and SIDs are not. We just need the SID. Uh, so let me just double check. Uh... Don't ask me why, it's great to see you. You're not flying tonight as your PC has the capacity to fry me alive. <laughs> yeah, I've got my cooler box directly on me. But checking out Twitch for the first time. Looking forward to the flight. Fantastic to have you. Uh, it's okay in another aircraft. Oh, good. Okay, Susie, that's okay. So that saves me going slow there. So all I do in the 146 go to the departure arrive button. And I'm going to input. Now, I'm not going to switch you back to the page where Simbrief is. But if you look at your... Uh, as, uh, at your SID, which is your first waypoint, basically, after Lowy, it's Mog T1R. So Mog T1R. I'm going to input that, and it will input that into my flight plan. So that's the SID we'll be flying first. Then we'll get to Mog T, which is part of the route. And we'll get to EPL. From EPL, I'm going I'm to go directly to Le Bourge Airport. So there you go, I hope, and again, I'm not butchering the pronunciation, but I do believe that's right. Right, let's just see if there's any more people. Oh, we have, uh, Oznava, are you with us here in the Coldy? Rossin, have you, uh, okay, have you pushed right back in Ninja? <laughs> Good idea, I'm going to take off from around this point, and the 146 just makes it from this point. Do I play safe, get on a runway and push back? Uh, we'll see. Let's continue setting up our aircraft. So I'll just go to my central panel here. It says in the SimBrief uh, file that we want... Actually, before I do that, let me go to the tablet. Set up our performance air, uh, our aircraft. Continue setting up. Go to aircraft. It'll say import payload. I think the fuel's fine. The cargo's way off from SimBrief. SimBrief, we want about one two point. Uh, 2,100 kilograms of cargo. So I'll just double click into here. Double click into it. Should work on Xbox as well. Go to 1,000 there. Double click into the forward cargo. 1,100. And that's the correct cargo passengers. It's saying we'll keep this accurate. 103 passengers. So we'll just take that total down. The fuel is about right. Let me check that, because I don't want to run out of fuel. So fuel, we need f about 5.3 tonnes, basically. 5.3 tonnes. Yeah, we've got enough there. It's about 5.3 5 tonnes in both uh, wings. So that should be fine. Should be fine. Right, okay. We're going to go to, let me just see, Alton 1. I've got it set up as... Uh, I'm not going to go to the sim brief uh, suggested climb altitude. It's telling us to climb directly to 30,000 feet. I'm going to put it down to 28,000. That's high enough. 
And if this was real life, I'll just talk to ATC and just say, look, 28, uh, flight level 280, is that fine? They'll probably say, yep, you can go to that. Put our aircraft into area mode, our nav, down here. Arm L nav, I've armed the autopilot selected altitude, and I'll arm V sync. I'm going to climb in V sync again, it's just the way I can control my speed. There's different ways of doing it, perhaps I'll show that in the future. I just prefer Arnav. With that, we're set up. <laughs> Should be fun. <laughs> Should be fun getting out of this bloody airport, to be honest. Uh, let's just catch up. Uh, evening, Disco Dave, good to see you. Hope everyone is okay tonight. Uh, this is from Flight uh, Freeze Out Owl. Uh, looking forward to escorting you lovely people. Are you with us? It's fantastic. So the 146 neat trick. Release the parking brake. Throttle up a tiny bit. It can turn. Turn on a sixpence. Unfortunately, I'm going to run this chap over. Get out the bloody way. <laughs> they just stand there, don't they? Uh, yeah, it's okay. There's an airliner coming straight towards me. I'll just stand here. It just... There you go. So I crushed him. There's one. See if I can get two of them. 30 bonus points if I get the second one. No, go on. I might let him live. No, I might hit him. Ooh, I think he just escaped. <laughs> so there you go. It just turns taxis. Really just spins on its axis almost. There's no pushback tugs at Innsbruck. At least not in the, in the scenery. So you just have to taxi that way, I'm afraid. Shift and P would probably work as well, but you know, I'm in a 146 and it's easy to turn, basically. So I'll just come up to our. Oh, I'll click on my flight card here. It'll set my sort of V1 speeds, flap speeds, and goodness knows what. So the autopilot will uh, tell me when to put my flaps up. I mean, flaps one. Uh, flaps one configuration. In the words. And there we go. Innsbruck. Lovely. This is a default scenery. I was thinking about buying the Innsbruck added add on scenery. But the default's good enough, and it's a lovely area to fly in. But definitely, if you don't do a SID here. Okay, I don't want to roll too far because I've only got so much runway left now. I think we'll go for it, chaps. I do think we'll go for it. Wish me luck getting up in the air here. Should be absolutely fine. Should be no problem. Hi, Tolks. Uh, what's up, Ninja? Okay, send hi to everybody. And hello, Angel. Good to see you. Rossin, evening. Just found chat box on Twitch. Great. <laughs> so I'll chat. I'll turn on the Discord chat in a moment. I'm in the uh, group flight comms one. All right, full throttle. Let's go for it. Should be fine. Should be fine. I practice this and there's just... Oops, my, my throttle keeps clicking. Logitech throttle it does have its uh, caveats. And we're landing Logitech. runway 27, which is another short runway, but that's not too difficult. If we're slow enough for landing, it's just taking off where you run out of runway, or you can. Come on, V1 soon, please. Beautiful. So I'm just going to clip these trees. No, it's absolutely where I clip the trees. Gear up. And I'm going to hold it. Pretty much the aircraft. Not quite level flight. I want to rise. I'm going to steer manually for this first part. Because I want it to get, tell me to take my flaps up. Because so, I want to gain enough speed. Otherwise, you can run out of speed in the climb if you don't do this properly. I found in the 146. So it should say in a moment, flaps up. You've got enough speed for flaps up, brother. I guess I'm just steering in the natural crevices of Innsbruck here. Got everything set, I do. Just double checking, I've got my altitude, altitude select set, vertical speed armed, and LNAV armed. Come on. Should tell me any second. I'm, I'm not going to autopilot yet. I'm just waiting to get my flaps up. The FTO. There we go. And 
autopilot. Now if it nozzles me down, oh no, it's keeping vertical speed. No, it's not, so I'm going to desync, pull my throttle back to get its positive rate of climb, and resync. There we go. Sync button's mightily handy for that. And we're still climbing. I've got to be careful of over speed now, in fact. So I might desync again. Let's press the sync button again. Oh, we're climbing rapidly. Let's sync again and climb at 2,000 feet per minute. That should slow our rate of speed down a little bit. There we go. Now we're climbing. And we're following the L nav, so we're following the course. If you're unsure of that on Xbox, actually, you know what? I don't believe. I've, I've got it on clear skies. Put it on live weather, Hoddison. There we go, live weather. Bring up the VFR map. Using flow here as always. And the VFR map, it will show you your course. I forgot to tell you that before. If you set your course in the 146, you can check it via your VFR map. Very handy to do that. And at APL, we'll go straight to uh, Le Bourge. So we should be fine. See, there's mountains ahead, but because of that SID, basically, it's taking us on a safe course <laughs> through these mountains, hopefully. Oh, that's the idea. It's just lovely, it is, Tokes, yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of landscape again. <laughs> Those mountains look tall, they do, they do, and it's frightening flying in Innsbruck if you're not used to it. Use a sit and start always when flying in Innsbruck, because it will tend to guide you uh, around. Now, it's going to fly us over. We should have enough altitude to get over these mountains. Uh, they're coming up close, aren't they? <laughs> I can always... Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Should be fine, it's climbing rapidly. I'm gonna press B to make sure that my altitude it was fine, yep. Altimeter was reading correctly. The VFR map can go up here, we don't need it for the moment. <laughs> I'll set up, I do have an ILS frequency for uh, runway 27 at Le Bourge, LFPB, Lima, Foxtrot, Papa. Bravo, in case people didn't catch that. I do have an ILS frequency. It's the only runway with a frequency. Uh, runway 27 and 9, isn't it, I believe? But it's one of the shorter runways. So, yeah. Uh, 146 can make it because it does have a trick of landing on short uh, runways. Shorter, it can land at London City quite easily. Oh, will we make it? See, we've got people flying with us. I'll bring them in in a moment. Get ready, chaps, in Discord. I shall bring you in at some point. Come under there. Susie, where are you? Don't see you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you're in the C700. Got you. Got ninja. Okay, we've got quite a few people flying with us, it looks like. There you go. So that's just the L now. That's the autopilot taking us. So, uh, oh, there you are, Ninja. Got you. Got you. How are we looking in terms of those mountains? Look, not look. <laughs> it's looking like we just timed that right, wasn't it? How's our speed looking? Absolutely beautiful. Bit noisy at the moment. The 146 because I've got it in 90% uh, throttle. So when you take off in the run 146, trust me. If you take off in flap speed, follow the co-pilot's directions of waiting until that flaps one signal comes because you're gaining momentum as, as it does that. Don't start autopiloting and climbing uh, before you've got a certain amount of speed. Something I've discovered along the way. There you go, look at that. Beautiful mountains of Austria. And we'll be coming into Germany at Monty, I think it is. Wonderful. Through Germany, pretty much into France. Into those Bourges, which is not far from Paris. So we might see some Paris. Uh, you'll see the city of Paris in the distance. But you might even see the Eiffel Tower in this weather. Live time, live weather. And hopefully it should be just... Yeah, we should have enough light. We've got another three hours of light where I am. So we should be fine. About another two hours of light over France. Hello, Disco Dave. I can see you above me there. That's brilliant. It's 
all looking good. To catch up Russell. <laughs> B1, uh, yeah, I got B1 on rotate Tux, yeah. Oh, do you mean, under, did you say that while I was on the runway? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just have to wait for the call out. So I knew it would be close because I was, I, I, eat, I, I ate up a lot of the runway taxiing there, but we made it. 146 is pretty good at doing that type of thing. There we go. Lovely sight, lovely to have a few of you along. This is brilliant. <laughs> and in terms of Twitch, the only thing I don't like about it is that your videos disappear. I'm not a partner, so videos disappear. Thanks, Toast. Videos disappear. Well, I just clipped the trees, keep that in mind. <laughs> Innsbruck are going to be pretty pissed off with me. Uh, videos are deleted, I think, 14 days. Is it shorter than 14 days now? So. I don't like that about it, that's why I've got no videos up, I've got clips. Make a few clips, guys, if you're watching. Because they seem to stay up, uh, where YouTube, your videos stayed up, so I'm, I'm, I want to try a different platform, and I, if I find the time, I'll do a couple of Twitch streams per week. These types of streams, really, uh, airline us. Uh, maybe one or two different ones. But I'm still toying with the idea of Twitch. There we go. Going for fun. I'm just going to push my throttle up a little bit just to keep it steady where it is. It's fine. Take a look at our flight management system there. It gives you the readout, what it tells you. From We're in Mogti now, so we've just crossed over into Germany to Mexit. And we've got what, about 50 nautical miles to go there. Uh, EPL, after we've reached EPL, about 120 nautical miles out from the airport, I'll start to descend. Maybe 130. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. Oh, landing lights. And we shall release the crew. There we go. So they're happy. And we're getting up to our 28,000. No problem. Speed's fine. Just going to double check. I don't want to overspeed, but I think we should be fine. There we go. We're leaving the mountains behind us. It'll be a fun flight flying into Innsbruck. Uh, you would have to use a star and simply line up with the runway. Uh, does it have a localizer? I know it doesn't have ILS, I don't think. Unless I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken there. I don't think I saw an ILS at Innsbruck. But maybe a localizer. So it's going to be a fun flight flying back into it, which I might do. Shy Susie, you're going quick. That's brilliant. It's wonderful. You're 10,000 feet. Dave, you're in the A318. Uh, I don't know how many people are with me here. Rossin, you're in the C700 as well. Ninja, in the hot there. Just have enough fuel, hopefully. So that's fine, that's just... Always check your instrument, get back in the cockpit, make sure that your speed and your aircraft's all behaving the way it should. Once we get to our assigned altitude, I can pull my throttle back to about 50%, and it should maintain a speed of maybe 250, 260. Should be absolutely fine. Second, 210k Oh, right, okay. You're, you're using Twitch. <laughs> uh, you get used to it. I don't mind Twitch. Uh, I just don't like the idea of videos disappearing. There's a few up uploaded on YouTube on a second channel to keep all the bits. Oh, yeah, maybe. I've got a second. Yeah, good idea. Susie, I can put it on my second. There is something going on with my YouTube channels, and I don't know what it is. I've got to see, because when I got uh, hat. My second channel wasn't on my primary account, which got hacked, but I couldn't use either. So I've got to get hold of them and just say, you know, one seems to be connected with another. The problem is if I upload to my second channel, it can alter the analytics of the first. It's a complicated well, 
thing with the analytics of YouTube, but I don't, you know, I'm in a good place at the moment. But we'll see. I actually may do that, Susie. That's brilliant. Love the beautiful language and tones of the man. Thanks, Tox. Is that me or is that someone else? And the legend and the pilot for the evening. Thanks. I might have a glass of wine in a bit too, so that'll keep you all <laughs> entertained. Got the week off this week, chaps. Gonna have to spend the first few days in my place and then go to a mate's place. Got a good mate. We've helped each other out for years. Uh, so it's my time to help him out. And it should be good. Should be good. I've still got the burning suntan that I got yesterday. Uh, but that's okay, it's starting to calm down a bit. I'm as red as a lobster at the moment. Uh, it's white tonight, Tolks. I do switch between red and white uh, when I drink wine. I tend to drink uh, a couple of ciders, uh, just a couple of ciders in summer, just because it's just a nice drink, nice cool drink. But if I, yeah, white, red tends to make me sleepy. <laughs> That's not a good idea in a 146, whereas white just makes me pissed, basically, so uh, seems like the other. Chaps, I will join you on Discord soon, just bear with me. Tolks, now you've mentioned it, how's my aircraft doing? Slowing down a bit, but we are coming. I'm going to lessen my, I'm going to press my sync button again, push my yoke forward, you meant to, and then I can resync, and that will just increase decrease my vertical speed but hopefully maintain my climb as it climbs up it does struggle a bit the 146 uh, but that should be absolutely fine we're pretty uh, let me just get a handle on this climb well, that's a thousand feet per minute should be fine that should be fine resync so I'm just desyncing and resyncing. There we go. That's better. Resyncing the autopilot. Back in a second. There we go, so I've got a nice Ryoka. Nice Ryoka tonight, which is nice. I'm going to sip it while I'm flying. And celebrate later, hopefully, if I land correctly. We should get the warning sign soon that we're coming up to our 28,000 feet. You'll hear it as it does that. I deliver wine. Uh, that should chill the burn. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, I've just been taking cold. There we are. That's a warning. Uh, cold showers, basically, and just I've got some cream that helps as well. It's not too bad now. Yesterday it was painful to frown, and when I was raising my uh, eyebrows, it was uh, painful. Yay! The 146, absolutely. At Atmosun, yeah, absolutely. Love the 146 myself. Probably my favourite probably mentioned this, but my favourite airliner that I've tried so far, uh, Concorde's, Concorde's good, it just doesn't have the fidelity of the 146, feels like you're actually in a cockpit in the 146, where Concorde's a lot of fun, but I'm not quite as realistic, i found. Still a lot to learn. One thing I have learnt on landing, I'll show you this later, once you get over the threshold of the runway, you're meant to deploy your speed brakes, believe it or not. And then if you, there's an indent on speed brakes as well, and that'll put uh, spoilers on. I'm just going to use speed brakes. It's short runway, but speed brakes in combination with brakes will give me plenty of time to stop if I'm slow enough. 
Okay, we're leveling out, so I'm going to pull my throttle back to about 60%. So the danger of all the speeding here. And you should start to hear, or not hear, the whisper jet. Sorry, Susie, you're, sorry, Susie, you're bobbing along. Ninja's beside me to the left. Uh, where are the rest of you chaps? <clears throat> Hang on, where have you all gone to? Disco Dave and Russin, weren't you around? Have, have I lost you? <laughs> uh, there might be a couple of people there combined. Is that just one person? That's just one person. Okay. Starting to lose people. Oh no. Uh, it could be a server issue, I hope not. We'll keep an eye on that, because we don't want to lose people in this flight. I've got a couple of people that's Ninja, I've still got you, my friend. Uh, ah. Just jump back in the aircraft, just going to make sure it's all behaving, I'm not over speeding, that type of thing. Uh, keep an eye now. Oh, on the course as well, just bear with me. Yeah, just coming up to... We're still between uh, Moxie and Nexit, so... Mexit. So we've got plenty of time here. 76 nautical miles between Mexit and Rusty. And another 80... 64 between Rusty and EPL. Goodness. That yeah, should be fine. Just increase that throttle a wee bit. Keep the speed up. What's going on? <laughs> I saw Russin popping in a pub, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, no, I usually go brown, uh, but if the sun hits me too high, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just no cover where we were yesterday, and the sun was incredibly strong. And, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't wear a cap or hat, so my fault. Off to your left and slightly ahead. Uh... Bear with me, I have to my left is slightly ahead. Don't see you, Dave, but I'll take your word for it. Ninja looks like he's coming into fly formation. Fantastic. That's okay, we'll keep an eye on the server. Make sure it behaves. That's our speed. Yeah, it's fine. Fine, I don't want to be slowing, so let's not slow down. That's better. Right, chaps, we might as well... Well, no, we'll wait. We've got uh, Le Bourge coming up, but we can wait till we're near it. We don't need to set our ILS frequency. We're not taking... It's up to you, but I'm not taking the star into Le Bourge Airport. I'm just going to fly from EPL straight into it. Nothing wrong with a ginger at all. Angel, you're not seeing anybody. Uh, you're able to see everybody, Susie. <sighs> okay. Because I can't, chaps, I might switch, just be warned, to Southeast Asia. Because I want to see a few people. Let's just try that. And if that doesn't work, we can always switch back to so Southeast Asia server. Handy thing with flow, that isn't it? Very useful. Put it back on the home page. You've got to keep an eye on your instruments in the 146. Uh, yep, yeah, absolutely fine with throttle. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. We got a couple of people behind, but I don't believe they're with us. Uh, Father Castle, didn't I see you before? You're in a Strike Eagle. You might be with us. Disco Dave, I've got you now. Yep, got you now. Strange, I couldn't see you in North Europe, so I don't know what was going on. Huh. 
And Susie, got your back. Brilliant. That's good. Yep, server changer. Rossum, can I see you? Let's just see. I've got Discord over to Susie now. Ninja, I've lost you. Hopefully you'll reappear soon. Uh, Father Castle. Are you with us, my friend? I don't know, I've got a couple of people that wait to see if other people reappear. Oh no. I've got to alter my settings again in Microsoft Flight Sim. It's all uh, defaulted to high and ultra for some reason. I caught it the other day thinking, oh. Ah, uh, Russell, I've got you. Got you. Yep, got you all, I think. Don't know what's going on there, but it does make the sim look pretty, but. Yeah, I like my own settings just for a constant 40, 50 frames, and let's hope Flight Sim 2024 will work on this desktop PC. Uh, chaps, how are we doing? Who have we got? I've just got letters next to your name. Now, let me just make sure in Discord that I've got voice and video. Yeah, no, I've got the right. Let's That's check, 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 yep. Mike's right. So, chaps, I'm just in Discord chats. I see a couple of you there. Uh, hopefully that works. If not, not to worry. There we go, just bring my speed down. Almost 300 ground speed now. That's as fast as I want to go, really, in the 146. Fine. So there we go, let's go put it back into Whisper. I can always use Speed Break if I go too fast, I'm not too worried. Fingers crossed for 24, yeah, I, I, I've, I've got a dreadful feeling it's only going to be Windows 11 compatible. Um, the current mm. PC won't do it. Cross for 24, yeah, I, I, oh. I, I have a dreadful feeling. Somebody's got the uh, open mic and my volume up. <laughs> oh. My best. I thought you'd talk high. Like, yeah, yeah. You did both. yeah, good, good. Oh, yeah, you got a hell of a lot of delay. <laughs> yeah, it's about, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds delay, I think. You're doing some good flying there, bro. Um, I'm really looking forward to the landing. Yeah, it should be okay. I've uh, practiced it on the landing. First thing I practiced, just to make sure I could land on 27. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's 6,000 feet, or just under, so it's a short runway. Really good. <laughs> yeah, just be, just be careful of open mics, chaps, just because it's repeating on the stream. Uh, yeah. Disappearing again on your screen. Okay, let's just see, Dave. I didn't notice. Uh, what's it? Oh, you are, yes. And Susie. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, is that uh, Sean? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, is that your name? Okay, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're doing fine. Let's just come down to. Yeah, now we're past Megxit, going into Rusty. Uh, so a bit of a flight to go, but nothing too drastic. Um, are you using runner run fields? Uh, say, say again, uh, Mike? Are you using runner fields? Rudder pedals, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're on autopilot though, aren't you, at the moment? Yeah, I'm on autopilot, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you've got the Turtle Beach, um, Turtle Beach uh, pedals? Yeah, Turtle Beach pedals, yeah, and uh, XPC yoke, which is brilliant. Uh, and Logitech throttle, so a bit of a combination going on. And panels, Logitech multi-panel, radio panel. Uh, <laughs> a real mix of controllers, but it works. Dave, I've got you Did back you... on the screen now. Do you have to have a, a multi-connection thing? Connect them all into one. No, I'm just using USB hubs. Uh, I've just got them plugged oh, into USB hubs. Yeah, it's more to connect 
Yeah, I've got. I should just get one eight USB hub, but I've got two four two four slot USB hubs that I've got connected to each other. It works fine. Lovely, lovely. I don't know if this actually comes out on your uh, on your Twitch if I speak to you. I don't know. Yeah, it should. I don't know. Can people hear? Uh, can people hear Mike and Sean? Let us know, please. Because, yeah, um, I can hear oh. Him. oh, right, okay. But otherwise, it'd be really weird just speaking to nobody. <laughs> 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 that would be one wacky stream, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Are you using VNAV? At the moment, I'm using RNAV. Right. Oh, I see, coming into LAN, no, I'm just used going down to a, a, a selected autopilot. I'm not sure the 146 has VNAV, does it? Not convinced. Hello, no. Oh, it does have VNAV. Oh, okay, maybe I can do that on the next stream. Uh, I've not investigated VNAV on the 146. Uh, no, because I'm coming to EPL, I'm not using a star, so I'm not, not using VNAV. Good idea though, Sean, that's a great idea for a future yeah, stream. Yeah, you got your flight plan, you'll you get it working. Yeah, uh, it would be good if I was using a star, because you can go down to the uh, assigned points on the star, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just going to EPL straight down, basically. Blimey, look at how many dials there are. <laughs> are you going to keep track of that? Uh, it's one for one for each engine. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, one for each engine. Engine performance. Uh, I think these two dials here. So set, sets each each set here will be for the engines. Engine one, two, three, oh, four. Uh, I mean, unless you. Unless you really want to be picky, you don't in a sim. You don't really need to pay too much attention to them. Uh, you know, unless There's you want to. Oh, there, there, proper battling there. On a concord. The, no, they're just the ones at the top. Um, the dials. I'll just so zoom into you. Two things above where you are. Yeah, it gives you your oil on and psi pressure. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of dials just in each one of those. Yeah. Blimey. Yeah, I mean, if you, if, I'm saying that, I said the wrong thing there. <laughs> if you are learning the aircraft, it's good to learn what each of these does. Uh, like I said, because it's a sim, I don't always pay attention to them, which is probably what I meant. Unless I was having trouble, I'll be looking at the dials, thinking is, is one engine on or not. Uh, Ninja, have you got unlimited fuel from for this flight? Just out of interest. Yeah, I've got unlimited fuel. Okay. People like me dying from the sea. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a distance, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's a bit, bit of lag with Ninja there, isn't it? And then just is in a hawk, but I it's something I wanted to get some. If, if it comes on sale, Ninja, I'll buy the hawk. I do like the look of it. Uh, that's the. Is it just just flight hawk you got? Is it just flight? Yeah. Yeah, it looks excellent. I love the 146 that you're flying, but um, I would need to remortgage my house if I had to buy that. Yeah, I've done a couple of review uh, tutorials on it, uh, Mike. It's not overly difficult to fly, it's just keeping an eye on the instruments, really. It's a throttle, which I need well, to look at. Been, um, you know what I mean? It's over like 50 quid, isn't it? Yeah, 60 pound at the moment, yeah. Yeah, blimey, that's so hard. It's actually... Yeah, it's like 60 quid. Is it? I thought it was 40 something. No, I got it for 60 on Xbox, unless it's come down recently. 60, well, it's 60 on the marketplace. You might get it if you're on PC for less. Uh, if yeah, you go to, the website. yeah. I mean, what could you buy for 60 quid? Probably the Mars bar. Yeah. 
Maybe a Mars one on a catapult. <laughs> yeah, the way the way I look at it, you know, it's it's a game, sixty pound, isn't it? But if you're flying this a lot, you know, it's a full price game or less. You know, they're more expensive now games for PlayStation Five or whatever. Uh, yeah. If you're flying this a lot, you know, I've flown the one four six probably twice as long as, as I would play a game, to be honest. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, value for money. Yeah. Ooh, there goes Father Castle. Lovely. Uh, loud and clear, great Susie, yeah. You can hear people, that's great. I've actually lost a couple of people here, let's just see. Uh, D Dave, I've got you, Ross and Susie, unless you're thundering ahead there, I can't see you no longer. Is there a shy Susie from tonight? Oh, you've got her? Hey, it's in front of you, just below you. Okay, now mm -hmm. I don't see her. I've got the rest of you now. Who mentioned before about heating up? My room's <laughs> heating up badly now. <laughs> if you run flights in for an hour next year, it's like, uh, even with a cooler box on me. Oh, look at that. Ninja doing a fly past. Fly by. Oh. You need to eat you, mate. I don't have a word. <laughs> okay, we're 10 nautical miles from Rusty, and then we'll be over to EPL. So we're getting there from EPL. We'll start our descent phase. It's interesting in the 146. Was it you, Russin, or it might have been Dan who mentioned you descend and uh, indicated airspeed? It might have been Dan. Yeah, I think you were Dan. Yeah, uh, with the 146 I've been watching videos actually, now they descend on the, they do use the flight throttle mo uh, mo modulation system, which is this box here, and I believe they go to descent, yeah, there's a descent button there, they use that, but then they sync it and use vertical speed, uh, so it does descend on the sync and vertical speed. I think it climbs under indicated airspeed, but it, it descends from what I've seen on the descent on the thrust modulation system and then vertical speed and sync. Um, what happened with Toby? What, did they take it back? Toby? No, I've got Toby. Yeah. No, I've just, uh, in airliners I don't tend to use it. Let me just see. Okay. Yeah, I always have it turned on. You have to reset your view a couple of times when you first set it up. Still got it. There you go. Probably a bit delayed on your end, but uh, airliners, oh, yeah. because you're looking at instrument panels and you can't pause. I think you can pause Toby with a flow widget. It's like a custom widget you can use. Uh, but yeah. Oh, cool when you look around. That yeah, it's so. like you can get underneath panels and look at things in a different... You can see the perspective of everything, you know, brilliant. Yeah, it's great. Best thing is you can stick your head out the window and <laughs> look oh, down uh, or look behind you. If it's speed at the moment, you lose your hair. <laughs> Not only that, you'll turn into an ice block at this altitude. Oof, blimey, yeah. <laughs> now, I've always got Tolby connected. Beautiful thing about it is I don't need to wear a tracker on my head. And you can just turn yeah. it on and off and uh, use it when you want to. I use that a lot when I'm not streaming. It's just a bit distracting sometimes when you're streaming. So I tend to have it off. Uh, I prefer it on all the time myself, but um, I do when I'm watching it anyway. It's beautiful. Lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, it is handy when you want to look under, <laughs> you know, when you want to look at things from a different angle, like I said, that you can't normally get to. Well, it's a very difficult angle to get to with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, it's useful for that to get right down. 
how much do you lean in? Do you like lean in like what one foot to to see your like uh, instrument? No, I'll say a couple of inches. I'm looking at a couple of inches. So I'm looking at my flight management system. It'll be a bit delayed to you, but that's just literally a couple of inches from my natural move uh, position. So when I'm looking right. at my central uh, control unit here, it's literally, I don't know, just moving my head to the side slightly. Oh, With eye tracking, oh, if you've got it turned on, I've got eye tracking on, so if I look down, I've got it on slightly, I'm looking at each corner of the screen, you can see the screen move with my eyes, but if you use eye tracking, you can get it even more, you know, you can look at uh, even more with it. We, 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 sorry, you can you can you can keep your head still and look at uh, in all directions with eye yeah. tracking. That's so cool. That is so cool, man. Yeah, and there's I no. Mean, for example, we do any of this stuff, but they've not got anything planned by like this. Somebody mentioned about Tolby possibly being being possible. Oh, look at my speed. Didn't keep an eye on it. Air brakes out just so I get under 300 knots. It's a little bit dangerous for the 146. Now, where's my air brakes? That's better. Yeah, I was going too fast for air brakes. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing. You can go too fast for air brakes. There we go. It's better. Not damaged, just making sure it's not delayed. There is a bit of a delay that can happen for some reason. Let me just go external. No, that's fine. No, what that's is okay. this? Falcon crashed a 146 at Barra Airport. Uh, who, who was that? Angel One. All right. Who is they? Where are they from? Oh, our crashed the 146 at Barrett Airport, did he? Oh dear. That's not good. Just be careful, Huddleston. You've got. What is my air brake doing? Just bear with me for a second. Just going to make sure that my aircraft is behaving. That's better. Okay. It's a fantabulous play. Uh, are they the uh, um, British Airways deliveries? Well, on the 146, yeah. Uh, Angel, <laughs> go on. I was going to say, Angel, can you tell us more about that? I've not heard about the uh, crash at uh, Barra. And I, I hope it wasn't our case. I hope it, this isn't like new news. I don't know. I'm st I've, I've not heard anything like that. Uh, going from Rusty to EPL, at EPL we'll start to descend once we've just passed it. And the sun's still in the sky, it's good. We're coming more towards the English... We're coming more so we, we, we're actually catching up with the sun rather than actually leaving it behind us. So we're catching up with the rising... What's the best way to say that? <laughs> we're coming westward, basically. <laughs> I travel. Hmm. That's right. Very much so. I'm losing people again. Discord Earth still got you. Ninja still got you. Rossin, I don't see you. And Susie, I don't see you. We're slightly in front of you. Oh, okay. It's a very I, I can see you. I can see Rossin. I can see Susie. Yeah. No, I don't see either of them. 
Uh, ran off the one Ryan 146 in the 80s, I think, did he? I know he was, a, yeah, his father was a pilot, wasn't he? Uh, King Charles' father was a pilot. Uh, Philip. Interesting. So, I'm not sure, I didn't know Charles took up the mantle of aircraft or flying. Oh, let's just see what's going on with my throttle, it's all fine. So that's just green ever with a green ever. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's still there, I promise great. <laughs> oh, Queen's flight, yeah, okay, wow. Ah Well so he was piloting good grief. Was the Queen on the flight? I didn't know about that, Angel. No, show me videos. <laughs> <laughs> Rosson, you're five minutes from top Thank of descent. You. How 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 oh, high I'm are you? Now. Okay. I'm oh, okay. Now. Oh, so you've got a VNAV towards? Have you got the same route towards uh, EPL? It's slightly different. It's slow, it's south. Oh, okay. Same route, mate. Hmm. Same ILS. Yeah, just be careful, chaps. What are you in, Rosson? Uh, longitude. Okay, you should be fine. Just going to say, be, be careful if you're in a larger aircraft. But it's a sh <laughs> As you'll find out, it's a very short runway. Yeah, yeah I'll slow right down. I think it's a bit longer than London City, and the, the glide slope is nowhere near as steep, thankfully. So, Sean, uh, maybe you can tell me, is there an ILS? I don't believe there is for Innsbruck, Lowy. No, it's just uh, vectors in and out. Oh, that should be a good flight. <laughs> Somebody should have told us before this. <laughs> well, the, the, the airliners did fly there. Did the 146 fly there? I'm not sure. I know, I know certainly the A320 flew there, didn't it? 737, I believe, on certain flights. You've still got the approach in there. Oh, okay. Still got the star, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Gotta try it. Gotta try it. That's one where I'll be using the star and probably VNAV. That'd be great. Yeah, seen a 146 in real life. Um, it looks like um, a military pack. Yeah, they, they were used for military uh, purposes, 146. It is a beast, though. Four engines, and look how small it is. Right, <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful. I think Steve Chumsey was saying that uh, he used to, he, he, he can't hear them if they fly over. They're so quiet flying over. Uh, so silent. I was absolutely amazed by your your Concorde video the other day, uh, where. You can't when you get past the sleep sound. Oh that yeah, was that was absolutely amazing. I mean, I mean, I've studied physics and stuff like that, but uh, I didn't realise that you can't hear the sound of the front of the aircraft. Yeah, any aircraft that goes speed of sound, it's not going to catch up to the front. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And it was wonderful where you landed in Dubai. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit pleased it worked out, let's say. <laughs> uh, Dave, now you've mentioned it, you've mentioned it in chat, you're absolutely right. The ILS for runway, runway 27, might as well set it up. Is I'm going to do it on my radio panel, it's near that anyway. I've got 110.55, decimal five five, and I can just swap it to active. Uh, the bearing is 264, depending what aircraft you're using. I've got to change the bearing. That will change the bearing of this dial down here. So when a course deviation indicator comes in, I can see a subtly it'll line up with the runway basically. So I'm lining up the lines down here when I turn it to GPS. I uh, want to turn it to uh, nav rather. You'll see that later, but the lines will be on, a, on an approach to the runway. So 264 is the bearing. And I have tried that, it works perfectly. Uh, Mike, you said you, you, you studied physics. Uh, well, A-level, 
Ah. Thought you were. Yeah. Uh, well, and glide maps and, uh, and stuff. Oh, okay. Just stupid stuff that is never going to help you in your life. I don't know. I, I did a I, I did a counting myself. I got through the ACCA uh, qualifications. I, I kind of stopped doing. I do a couple of accounts per year, but it just got Ooh, boring to me. Wait, there. Quid in your pocket in there. Yeah, it was just a dull job. I, d I do health and safety now, which is a bit more. <laughs> Sounds just as boring, but at least I get out and get out and actually see the sunlight every now and again. Mate, you doing health and safety? I've seen your land. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always say strap strap on your seatbelt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Angel 1, no, the Queen wasn't on the flight. Great. <laughs> I can imagine Susie's going to be laughing her head off. She's not on live, live chat, but <laughs> she'll be giggling away at that one. <laughs> okay, Rusty, so we've got eight nautical miles just over. Is that six nautical miles just over to EPL? And we'll be setting ourselves up for descent. Might as well set this up now. I'm going to, going to come down to 2,800 feet directly down. And I can control that with uh, vertical speed and sync. Oops, went past it. 2,800. I'm going to arm it. Oh, no, I'm not going to arm it. Don't arm it yet. I'm going to set it and then wait. It was almost a mistake. Panicked my cold pilot. <laughs> don't arm the bloody thing. I don't think it would matter really about arm it. But just in case, I don't want to descend yet. There we go, we're turning on to EPL now. You can see the uh, distant measuring equipment down here telling us how far we got to our next waypoint. the speed. Haven't been keeping an eye on that again. Just keep constantly watching your speed in the 146. It's the only tricky thing about the aircraft. You can over speed or under speed it quite easily. There we go, I've caught it. Yeah, I'm using the FMS speed on the flight button. Oh yeah. But I'll probably leave you behind a bit now. Oh, okay. That's alright, you can welcome me in, if I can see you. <laughs> could be me chaps, if I'm live streaming I'm using a bandwidth, uh, so it could always be me if the uh, name tags go on and off. It's difficult to know, it's between me and uh, Flight Sim that's doing it. The uh, frames per second and um, the graphics look pretty cool. What, in the 146? No, I mean like just uh, viewing you on Twitch. Uh, oh good. It's really, the graphics and the sound is really good. Oh that's good. Yeah, I've, I've tweaked a few of my uh, OBS settings. I don't think I've got it quite as high as yours, Sean, but... <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. do I need to get... 8,000 per second. 8,000? Oh, no, I can't manage that, I don't think. No. Uh, I need to contact... Go on. I'll just say I was testing it this morning with tapes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Streaming in 1440p. Nice. It looks wonderful. Is that why there was uh, some test things on your channel? Yeah, 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 I was messing about. Um, what we doing? But everyone should get involved in that though. You know, feel free to jump in. Yeah, people normally do. People normally do, yeah. But yeah, you... sometimes it's, it's just good to see how other people fly. Yeah, and just have a little chat and just say how you're flying there. And, you know, it's all cool. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Both right. Yeah, that was the idea of it. That people fly together and uh, join in. 
Uh, Rosen has um, found a very, very, very nice plane. Nice. Uh, what plane was it, Rosen? It's, it's the Black Wing, I think. Yeah, that's it, Black Wing. That's it in there, Black Wing. Yeah, very fast. Small ultralight. It holds the world record, the speed record. Ah. It's in the market, it's fairly new. Yeah. Have you heard about the, uh, or which, which one is it now, the uh, A2A? I don't know if you know about A2A. Did you ever have Flight Simulator X, Sean? No, I, I jumped all the middle flights. Oh, okay. <laughs> A2A Simulations are one of the best developers there used to be. They make a living aircraft. And I think Mark showed a video before Simhanger. It looks absolutely fantastic, the upcoming aircraft. Check it out, A2A Simulations. Is that the one that they the convention in America. Yeah, yeah. I've forgotten which one it was now. Which one was it? So, well, no, I'm going to have to refresh my memory watching this video again, I think. It's good, though. Well, I'm on the ILS now, anyway. Okay. Oh, blimey, well, I'll I'll approach, anyway. Okay, so I'll what I've done... The arrival. Okay. <laughs> what I've done, guys, just on vertical speed again, I'm syncing and pressing the sync button to, t to temporarily disable autopilot and then just I'm actually just pushing my yoke forward just to get down to 2000 feet per minute descent so we're descending now I've armed our 2800 autopilot at selected altitude here so we are descending towards the runway and we've got 127 nautical miles to go so we should be absolutely fine I've nulled my throttle you need to in the 146 otherwise it will overspeed there you go, silence, complete silence outside. Ninja or brilliant formation there, I've got to say. Father Castle, so you good. must be with us, you're sticking with us in the Strike Eagle. I'm guessing you've seen that um, livery from him because you haven't downloaded it or something. Uh, which one, Mike? Uh, from Ninja. Oh, okay. So you just see a general like uh, livery. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the center. So you've got several liveries. No, uh, I don't have the aircraft. That's why you're seeing a general aircraft. You're seeing. You're not um, even seeing the uh, old the Hawk because I don't own it yet. Oh, blimey, I thought you owned everything. No. Now the Hawks are never expensive yeah. aircraft. <laughs> if you own Hudson International, blimey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Surely I can afford uh, a tiny Hawk, you would think. I tell you, when I, when I next go there, I'm, I'm just going to just claim that I know Hudson, let me in for free. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that will work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might video it. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to charter a flight from there at some point. I do want to fly out of uh, Huddersfield International, or into it at least. I think, there's a, I think there's regional flights, so flights from I don't know, all, all, all around the UK from Hardison, from uh, London City, I think. Okay, DME, distant measuring equipment, showing 115 nautical miles, plenty of room to descend. Speed's good, we're not over 300 knots, uh, and we're descending 2,000 feet roughly per minute. Goodness, Susie, where, where are you now? <laughs> Have you landed as well? Seems to be lagging behind. Dave, are you still with us? Let's take a look. Oh, I've got Ninja. There you are. And Father Castle here. Let's 
Excellent. What's it like to fly? N Ninja, you've told me before, but what's your first name? My first name? Yeah. Chris. Chris. I think you've told me before. Uh, what's it like to fly the Hawk? Is it is it a nice aircraft? Well, it's a lovely aircraft. It's very nimble. Nice. Well, no one ever flies through, uh, through a lot of the lakes and what have you with this. It was taking some of those corners and some of those bends. Absolutely lovely and smooth. Okay. Wow. Well, training there, What's the cruise speed on it? Uh, about 600, I think. <laughs> At the moment, we're what? I'm flying at 340, and I'm only on half flow. Huh. No. Blimey. Yeah, I've looked at the reviews on it and it's like, uh, you, you know, they're just stunning. I've got PC Pilot, it's got like 98% out of 100 for the review. Uh, the 146 got 98% as well. Concorde got 90%, just to give you an idea. So the Hawk is in my targets, really. I want a Hawk and the, uh, oh, one or two others. Vision Jet, maybe. Yeah, that's a good choice. So if you can hear that so, on stream, go on, Mike. How many um, how many people can you fit on your plane? Uh, me? Yeah, yeah, how many people you got in there? Is it maybe, what, 100? 103 Do passengers, uh, max about 130, I believe. Uh. I don't know, it's a, it's a 300 variant, uh, and I thought you could get 300 passengers, but it doesn't work that way in 146. Uh, I think it's about 128 to 130 max or something like that. Well, is that what the variant means? So, like, when you've got 747, 800, so you need to get 800 passengers. Not with every aircraft. <laughs> it does with one oh, or two right, other aircrafts. I thought that might simplify things. Yeah. <laughs> There's another aircraft, which airliner, which I can't think of. That uh, it's a 300 variant and it has 300 passengers. Anybody know from the top of the head? Yeah, ask Google. No, you're behind yeah. Russell. Great. Okay. Dave, you're still in the air, and Susie, are you coming into landing now, Susie? So descending fine, 14, 16,000 feet, just under 100 nautical miles out, absolutely brilliant, no problem at all. Probably timed it just right by the looks of things, I think. Completely silence, isn't it? <laughs> I was just trying to have a little butchers at your um, uh, altitude. What are you at? Uh, I'm now at. Uh, let's just turn on Tolby, I'll get you close to it. 14, just under 15,000 feet. It's going to take time for the stream to catch up, but hopefully you can see that. So, eight second delay, I reckon. Okay. Uh, but yeah, 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 I put you there. There you go. Just be a sec. You know when he says just be a sec, that's a that's a shot of vodka and coke. Yes, Mike. It was actually whiskey. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Good man. Good man. <laughs> right, 
right, so we got Father Castle just be just like uh, Ninja and Father, Father Castle are going to bring me in there. That's good. Formation flying. Yeah, that's definitely what I'd like to try in the future. Is um, a bit of formation flying with you guys. Yeah, DCS D DCS World is the best for formation flying, but it's a it's a huge learning curve. DCS. That's just PC though, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, you could do it in this. I mean, the Spitfires are good for formation flying. So it's handy. By the way, you were asking uh, Mike. Do I use? I, I do. You can I, underneath the dashboard and everything. Yeah, I was going to say I, I do use Toll because uh, when I need to zoom into my instruments, if I don't want to just uh, toggle down with my with my controllers, I just zoom in with my eyes. Really, just lean forward. Yeah, it's wonderful. And you can even see the exactly. reflection, you which is good. That, thing <laughs> <laughs> that sure. is really cool. Man. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a must-have. Uh, Sean, you have Toby, don't you? Yeah, I use it all the time. That is lovely. Yeah, I was watching... Ooh, I can now call you Sean now, I think. Um, I was watching Sean earlier, and um, the winglets on his, on his um, new aircraft he's got are... Oh. The, the carbon fibre is absolutely amazing when you zoom into it. Oh, wow. And you look at it, it's just... Oh, it's, a di it's a different game. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a difference between the fidelity of... Uh, I'm not sure if it's just... Uh, are you on a Series X, Mike, or S? Yeah, yeah, X. X. So, have you got the 146? I, uh, well, mate, I haven't got 60 quid, mate. Oh, okay. No, fair enough, yeah, fair um, enough. But, I mean, I went and uh, spent, what, 16 quid on the uh, RG, the mm. uh, 182. What do you think? Oh, the RG is, uh, the 182 RG is wonderful. Yeah. It's, but it seems too easy. <laughs> yeah, it seems very assisted somehow, doesn't it? I, I mean, I like it. I like I like the undercarriage and uh, the fact it's got an undercarriage. It's brilliant. Uh, it's beautiful. It flies really fast. In uh, live really streams, fast. it's going to be a godsend because you can just... It's so easy to fly, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels... I mean, it, I, I don't know if that's true to life, whether it's an assisted feeling aircraft. I, I've heard that, you know, it's a very expensive aircraft. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's got assistance in there somewhere. Dave, I had you for a moment, so I could see that you're pretty much beside me, but I, you've gone again. Yeah, I think my, the, the server keeps popping in and out. I lost money. Uh, yeah, they're coming back. Okay guys, coming past, we're all with pass through 10 files and I need to inform my cabin crew, seats for landing. I'm okay, I'm not too late with that. Seats for landing. Uh, don't smoke inside, Yep, <laughs> I think they've been on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember the days they used to smoke an aircraft? Unbelievable. Oh man. Uh, I used to work for NatWest Bank and I've still got a NatWest Bank ashtray. Wow! Well, I remember going to the cinema and you could smoke in the cinema. I used to smoke when I was younger, and on the top of a bus at one time you could smoke. On the top of the bus you could smoke. Yeah, on, on, on the left-hand side of Putney Cinema you could smoke as well. Wow! <laughs> but it was only on the left-hand side because obviously the rest of them didn't want it. <laughs> yeah. Understandably, yeah. It's just amazing to think about, isn't it? You know. Days gone by, you you you, <laughs> you wouldn't dream of doing it now. Well, apparently in, in Japan it, it's okay to smoke in a restaurant after a meal, but if you smoke outdoors, you have to have specific smoking air ah. Wow. <laughs> but it's okay to smoke indoors. Yeah. Uh, just go over what I did here, chaps. I changed my course 
indicator here. This will kick in when I turn, the t turn this back to nav. You'll see the lines line up with the runway. Wherever the lines are pointing and the arrows are pointing, that's the direction of the runway. So it's this dial here. Course deviation indicator will kick in when we get nearer to that uh, ILS as well. You'll see all that happening. That's what the course knob does in effect. I've got it set to the ILS frequency at runway 27. That's 110 decimal 55. And I'm just coming down to 4,000 feet. You'll hear the alarm in a second. Telling me I'm coming down to my 2,800. 62 nautical miles out. I'll keep the speed up. So I came down so a little bit too soon there. Apart from Disco Day giving you the, the uh, frequency, um, how did you know that? You can look it up. Look it up online on Google. Just type in uh, the airport and ILS frequency. Or oh, frequencies. Okay. It seems a bit too free to, to, to understand all this stuff. Because, like, you know, like, um, what was that thing where they, they crashed the planes into America? What was it called? 9 11 or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like, people can get those frequencies and they can. It seems a bit too free to me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the sort of. That's the downside to it, isn't it? That people can learn on a simulator and learn to fly the real aircraft, really. In effect. I mean, I've, I've said to my mates at work, if you need a pilot, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's taken me up on it yet. No. <laughs> I'll be surprised if any, but any of them own aircraft. Okay, Disco Dave uses an Apple phone called Airmate. Oh, okay. Yep, got that, yep. Yeah, another thing you can do, I'll just show you. Uh, very simple. Use Flow, go to the VFR map. Go to your airport, it will give you the ILS frequency on the VFR map as well. So if I click on LFPB... Oops. Click out of that, so I've just clicked on another player there. Just a second, LFPV. Yeah, it'll give you the frequencies basically. Uh, okay, cool. It doesn't there for some reason. Well, it's the, no, it doesn't give it us there, but typically it will give you the ILS frequency by clicking on the airport. Now, why is it not giving me there? Uh, interesting. Okay, but normally if you got airports, uh, big big hub airports, basically, it will give you the ILS frequencies on the VFR map. It's one one eight point five five. Yeah, no, I've got it. I've got it. I'm on the glide slope. Mm. I saw you just ahead of me for a moment, but you've disappeared. Still got Ninja. I'm being, I'm being, I'm being escorted. It. Ah. <laughs> Uh, right, they think you're going to bomb the place or something. <laughs> so I reckon 30, 30 nautical miles out, I'm going to leave it to 20 nautical miles out, we'll click over to nav mode. And we'll get the uh, course deviation line coming up. That's nav mode down there. I'm very excited to see your landing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I can do it justice. <laughs> but that's what this is all about for people watching now or in the future. But, uh, Susie, great idea. I'll probably put this on the second channel. Uh, the idea is uh, proficiency. It's keeping myself proficient in a couple of complex aircraft. So this and the Concorde. I'll do a couple of flights in this, switch back to the Concorde. And then probably go for another aircraft when I feel... I can do this with my uh, hands tied behind my back, maybe. <laughs> the amount you taught me on Concord was amazing. I haven't even, got, I haven't even downloaded Concord, but I didn't know that that windshield came up and down. I, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the nose, yeah, yeah. the nose can't come up. Insane. In, I did not 
Yeah, when it when it enters into the light it speeds down. The nose call diverts the heat. Love it. That is me. I, I did not know that. Huh. You know, obviously, you know, if you've ever, like, um, folded a paper airplane. Yeah. So back in the day, we used to fold a paper airplanes, and then we used to do the little nose cone on the, uh, on the Concorde. <laughs> I remember doing that, yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I didn't I, 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 that that came up as mental. <laughs> I used to make Concorde paper airplanes, yeah. <laughs> But I still do, mate, and I, I don't think you just stop either. Yeah. Well, it's a fascinating aircraft, and the, the, the amount of engineering feat that went into that for the time was... I mean, it was during that time when the Space Shuttle was built, wasn't it? It was around the same time, so incredible times. Well, that's what they're saying now, isn't it? It's like, um, it's going to save them so much fuel and money to um, put an aircraft into the orbit. And travel around to um, uh, Australia. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Gonna save so much fuel. Down. down. You down? Great. Have you recorded that, Sean? Okay, Angel, I've got your picture in the chat there. I've just looked at general chat. Yep, got it. Okay, I didn't know about that. I'll read that later. Sean, are you still there? Yeah, still there. Have you recorded that? Yeah, I've recorded the flight. Great. Right. Okay, well, maybe stick it into chat. It'll be interesting to see it later. It's good, good to see flights from different perspectives. Still a very quiet jet, the 146. Always lovely to fly. We've got more than enough fuel left. Look at that, we've still got around three tons of fuel. So maybe we overfueled for this flight, but better to be safe than sorry. And 32 nautical miles, get to about 20. Descended a bit too too soon there, but yeah, just wanted to be safe and we're down now and we're keeping the same speed. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, Dave, are you still near me? I've lost everybody now. <laughs> I'm going to switch back to North Europe, chaps. I don't know what's going on, but I think it's because I'm streaming and... Yeah, probably because I'm streaming back over to North Europe. Sure, if you just pick back to um, Rosen's internet, you'd be fine. Even though you're about like 100 miles away, Rosen's got <laughs> awesome internet connection. I've got 5G, but it's a gigabox. It doesn't. It does hardwire. I've got it hardwired. It does have a hardwire op, uh, option, but 5G. It's Vodafone, so it's shared this time of night. And that's the problem. During the day, it's blinding. It goes. Uh, I can't remember the megabits, but oh, what was it? I can download, like, you know, a full game within 20 minutes. It's really incredible speeds when it's quick enough. So can you, you, you can't get wired where you are, no? I can, I just didn't go for it because uh, I am I have a tendency to travel a lot. So I like to move around rather than just stick in one place. Uh, <laughs> which is good and bad, it's just my nature. You're a gypsy, yeah? <laughs> in spirit, at least. <laughs> But I like to, you know, I lived in Ireland a couple of years ago. I like to travel to different places just to broaden the horizons a bit. It's probably why I like flight swimming so much. I love it. Love it. So I didn't want to get anything that would tie me down. When 5G is a gigabox, I can just pick it up and take it with me. As long as it's in the UK. And both of them are usually really good. Yeah, that's what I'm on. Hold as well. Oh, okay. But you're hardwired? Yeah. Yeah. 
That's the difference, I think. Yeah, the Giga, not Giga Boss, it's Giga Cube, rather not Giga Box. Uh, it's a good unit. Just, <laughs> if people are sharing it, if everybody's on it, uh, the, the bandwidth's shared and it goes down a bit. Yeah, you're not limited on um, upload, right? No, no, I can, I can upload all day long. Yeah, cool. No, I mean, Flight Sim, last time I reinstalled it on Xbox, it took me two hours. So that gives you an idea. Yeah, something's something's uh, gone amiss with my Xbox X. Uh, I can't actually download or I can't actually load the game from the main menu. Oh wow! And, um, and it's not to a flight simulator. I've been downloading so much shit. Ah. Oh. And I just think it's just conflicted everything, I don't know, but yeah, I have to keep going into the menu button to actually uh, load the game. Okay, sorry to cut in there Mike, I'd better concentrate on this flight just a second because I didn't realise I've kind of under 20 nautical miles out. I'm in the heading mode now to get that line, the course deviation indicated back into the centre. I'm going to arm L lock, V lock rather, V lock, which will, there you go. You probably just hear that. So when the course, the line starts to come back in, it will lock onto it and keep me in line for the runway. I'm going to put flaps 18 in, take out my speed brake. So speed brake's off now, but I've got flaps in. You can probably hear that in the aircraft. So there we go. We're slowing down. We've got flaps in. I'm going to trust it and put my... when it's locked on to V-lock, so when the course deviation line is locked, basically V-lock is locked in, I'll put my gear down. So it's all going to happen now, chaps. This is the landing phase. Now this is beyond me. This is, this is many years of knowledge, yeah? Uh, yeah, from previous sims, yeah. Yeah, I, gu I guess so. But Sean picked it up. I mean, Sean's pretty good. He's, you started with Flight Simulator 2020, did you, Sean? Yeah, I mean, uh, I had an old, really old one, an old piece, years and years ago. But I was just messing about with the keyboard. First one I've learned. Okay. So I'm going to keep it in the heading mode. I did the wrong thing. Uh, I put. Uh, V-lock arm there. I've got to wait till the course deviation line moves in before I arm V-lock, then it will lock on. Yeah, which for the old flight simulator that you used to land at Chicago? Oh, that's the one I had. Oh, uh, sounds like Flight Sim X maybe of 2004, yeah, it's maybe. Old. Could be 2004. Just because it's Cessna. Uh, I don't want to OG playing your, your flight simulator from the spectrum. <laughs> it might even be Flight Sim 95, that's Sean. It sounds... I remember... I think Miggs Field was the home base for 95, from what I remember. That's a very old uh, way of flying. <laughs> yeah, it's about three coloured white lines. Oh, no, goodness. Now you talk about Flight Simulator 1 or 2. Yeah, really, I'm really, really old. Probably when I was still at college. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to miss this if I'm not careful, so just... Bear with me for a second, chap. I need to get that course deviation line coming in. It's not coming in. Let's uh, slow I'm myself down. Okay. Oh, the pressure's up. No, Better. I'll record everybody. Fly slope locked. Fly slope captured. But I'm not locked into V-lock yet. I missed that completely. I'm going to put my gear down just to slow. That will help slow me down as well. Come on, V-lock. You need to lock in, my friend. It's not locking in. It's going to be very, very tight, this one, chaps. Should be okay if I get it to lock in. I'm on glide slope. So, fine oh, there. Right. Ah, good. V-lock. Lock in, my friend. Localizer locked. Localizer captured. Localizer captured. Fantastic. Now I'm in business. 
But I'm six yeah. nautical miles out. Yeah. I need to start slowing down ASAP, which I will do. I'm going to go full flaps. Gonna watch my speed because it's likely to uh, under speed now. Uh, no, I mean I can I could I could get around that. I could just reverse my course there a little bit and still be fine if I had to. That's what I would have done. Wonderful, love it. Uh, it's just knowing the aircraft really. That's the idea. It's aircraft proficiency. That's why I'm flying it again now. Uh, just to remind myself of how to land and fly. But do you know this landing strip? Uh, yeah, Le Vosges, yeah. Yeah, oh, you've been there before. Yeah. Yeah, I showed a video on it. Uh, see, it's, in the, it's in the city update, the recent city update. Okay, watch oh. my speed there. I'm about to slow way down. Just going to catch that. I've caught it. Ooh. So I'm perfect, perfectly locked on there. Glide slope is perfect. As long as that course deviation line comes in and it's coming in, it will line me up perfectly with the runway. Yeah, Slow down a wee bit. Depth. Over the threshold, I'm going to arm my uh, speed brake. Now well, when I get over the threshold, I'm going to arm speed brake. That will help slow the aircraft down further. And perfect. Should be absolutely fine. We're coming up. We're lining up. And we are perfect. No worries. I'll take it off autopilot in a moment. Father Castle and the Strike Eagle. You better get off the runway, my friend. <laughs> I've got a bigger aircraft than you. Right, so I've still got it in autopilot mode at the moment, but as soon as we get just before the threshold, I'll take it off autopilot. Still lining up slightly, don't do this to me. So uh, recently, doing it 50 feet and then take it off. Yeah, so I'm off autopilot now just because it was taking me on the wrong line. Oh, I'll keep nice. a eye on my throttle. I'm the speed brake. I'm pretty much over the threshold. Bring my throttle down. Are you using rudder there? I will be in a second. There we go. Nice and gentle. And we're down. So I bring the flaps up as I go. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit delayed, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny hearing you in the chat because <laughs> you're watching Sorry. my s stream a bit delayed so I'm, I'm doing like really important things and you're saying <laughs> you're saying things from half an hour ago that's <laughs> uh, just funny <laughs> nothing, to, nothing like that to add to the tension Mike I'm like really concentrated and you're talking about things 20 minutes ago I'm like what the fuck is this guy talking about <laughs> right there we go so I'm just going to Give you a bit of um, a bead of sweat on your brow. <laughs> I best not with my sunburn. It's gonna <laughs> really meld in. Right. Oh, well, I mean, your post the other day. Uh, what was it like? Yeah, I went to this show, or whatever, but I got sunburned to hell or something. I can't remember. What you put, but <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, I love. I love you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Right, chaps, I'm going to stop at this line. There, this is Le Bourge Airport. I showed this in my city update video. If you've not seen it, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and look at a lovely airport. There you go. We managed it. Landed safely, took off from a short runway and landed on a short field runway as well. Thank you guys for joining me. It was a fun flight. Subscri Oops, aircraft still rolling forward. Let me just make sure parking brakes on. It is now. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, chaps. See you later. See you soon, Hudson. That was a great flight. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Sim, uh, Susie, for the landing. <laughs> Just had a nightmare about you in your way in now. Oh, Dave, are you in your way in? Okay, before we go. See Dave land. Let's watch Dave land. Uh, if I can see a landing... 
just about to go, but I can't resist seeing <laughs> watching new chaps land, hopefully successfully. I don't have you, Dave, I'm afraid. I'm going to wait for a second to see if you appear. I think you might still be on Southeast Asia, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on North yeah, Europe yeah. now, Dave, if, you're, if you've not switched. <laughs> it's probably on landing for good shit, shit, I need to switch. <laughs> No, you're welcome, Susie. It was a great, good fun. Yeah, and I'll be doing more of them. I'm just keeping up the proficiency, so I might as well stream it while practicing. Happy join. And uh, really good to watch you, dude. Really cool. Thanks. No, it's all good fun. I have to get the vision jet, Sean, and you can. <laughs> You could teach me a few things about that, maybe. I know nothing about the vision jet. Yeah, well, you can use a TBM 930. Practice with that. Oh, okay. Is that the normal? The TBM does not have the auto throttle. Uh, Is that the normal TBM? Yeah, the one, the free one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, come, cool. Dave come, in now. come and join us in the chat. I can't. Is he coming in? I still don't have him. Don't, don't have him yeah, on the I live stream. Okay, maybe he'll, he'll appear, hopefully. That TBM just seems to be the best of both worlds. It's sort of like a bit in between like airliner and, and uh, GA. Well, faster than normal GA. Yeah, the longitude I've been using today is the same. Lots of D3000. Uh, that was a bit faster, mate. I couldn't keep up with <laughs> Why really? I don't see him. Oh, what a shame. Let's get into a different camera mode. Maybe this will help. I'll uh, share me upload in Discord. Okay, yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah. I always watch those kind of things, Ross. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Bit freakish like that. I do like to watch replays of videos and things. It's not freakish, bro. I do it all the time. <laughs> it's got no audio voice chatting on it. It's just ah. the sim in the ATC. Okay. Still good. Which is better for me because I really hate my own voice. But I'm sorry for speaking. No, it sounds okay, uh, Mike. There's nothing wrong with it. I used to, believe it or not, I used to believe hate my own voice as well. But uh, a girlfriend said it was okay in the past, so I thought, okay, she likes it. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of my own voice. I just get on with it. Basically, you just got to get over that hump. Your your voice is absolutely brilliant, and it's fucking spot on. Uh, I loved it, and well, before long, you're going to be a superstar, Brad. Nah, I don't. I, don't, I really don't want to be. If I can keep around 20, 20 k subscribers, that's my aim. That's all I want, really. I don't want to be famous. And goodness knows what. It's not my, not my cup of tea, really. <laughs> uh, it's, I want to it keep it a hobby. Not your cup of tea, but you know things happen. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, but there's a lot of us out there. There's Mark, there's uh, VR Flight Sims guy, there's Mark Pilot the stuff. Flight sim guy to me. What's that? Mark is the Flight Sim guy. Yeah, um, Mark Sim Hanger, yeah. Right. yeah. Mark's, yeah, he's quite nice yeah. yeah, he is, yeah. Mark Sim Hanger, Steve is the VR Flight Sim guy. Guy. Uh, you've got Into the Blue, Jonathan, loads of people out there. Oh, do you better. watch Into the Blue as well, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I watch a lot of their oh, reviews. They do incredible reviews. He's got some long videos, though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan's very good. Very humble, but very good at what he does as well, I think. Is that Jonathan Beckett? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's cool, yeah. Right, Dave, I don't see you, my friend. Are you down? Did you make it? Did yeah, you make it, guys? Down. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's down. <laughs> You're right behind me. Uh, uh, let's go to cockpit. Let's see if I can see in a cockpit. Get outside the aircraft. For some reason, Dave, you're just not showing, but well done. Oh, air brake's still out. Let's put that in. Haven't seen Susie, though. No, because I'm on the ground. The ground spot is... Okay, never mind. 
Sue's, uh, she's there. Oh, is it crushing? Good timing. Now there we go. Look at that. Because I'm on the ground, the spoilers have armed if you press air brake on the ground. Oh, well, that's interesting. Something I didn't know. So there you go. I'll try that next time. The spoilers will arm if you're on the ground. Your air brake will be out anyway. The back air brake and then your spoilers on the wings will arm. Interesting in the 146. I'll try that next time. Okay, chaps. I'll see you soon. Ross and I'm looking forward to your stream. Please upload. Uploading. Okay. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Take care,